We're talking about this thing today. Press him, press him. So, I finally got a different camera than the one you're probably used to on this channel. So, normally I wear the AimCam Pro 2i, which appears right about here, and it's a little tiny camera, 720p, though my editing software likes to do it at 30 FPS rather than anything more sensical. So today, we're going through a couple of items that I got recently. So, first things first, this helmet. This is a knockoff of the DevTech Ronin helmet by Matrix Tactical. Do this so I can grab it. It's got very, it's very, very useful because you can take plates out and then with a couple of hex screws and then you get mesh instead for more airflow. You have a Picatinny rail on the side, which as you can see, I've mounted stuff to. You can replace the lenses you can swap in the two top plates for night vision mount, which I'm going to eventually use. You can swap the face with the uh, mesh one, which I've attached some cloth to, to provide a filter because, you know, COVID rules regarding the VFBA requires that I have some kind of a mask on. And this bit here, this is a scope mount that has spectating rails on it, so you're not going to get that if you get this. But we also have this. This is a Firefly Q7, I believe. It's designed to go onto any Picatinny rail, and it's basically a rail cam. So I, to turn it on, I just hit this M button here. Little screen comes up. I press this button. And I'm getting 720p60. So now, I can look wherever. Hopefully you can understand me through this, but also another thing that this uh, that this thing has, a couple of AAA batteries and a fan. This is mainly used for defogging because I can turn this on to unfog the lenses. So if I just hyperventilate in here for a bit, I can just hit that switch and my lenses are defogged so now I can keep on going so now there's a couple of things you might wonder how, com how comfortable is it? well it's fairly comfortable it's got some nice padding on it, and it fits my head basically perfectly. Now another thing you might wonder is, can you uh, shoulder a rifle while doing that? While wearing this. Yeah, you can shoulder a rifle just fine. Here I'm looking down the sides of this AK strife just perfectly fine. Usually it's the shoulder bits on, the, on some of these armors that often give you trouble, but here I'm looking down my sights perfectly fine, no problems whatsoever. If I were to do this, well, you know, you won't even have anything to interfere with the shoulder. Range of movement, perfectly fine. I can breathe pretty well on this. With some obvious restriction, but you know, I have to wear a mask because, you know, COVID and all that, and whenever the next season comes in, there's likely still to be a mask mandate in place, but, you know. That's how it runs. The only problem is you can't really look down with this. So 
So yeah. This is also a fairly expensive set of gear in, top, in total, mostly because of this camera here. I'm going to shut this thing off. This is an incredibly expensive piece of kit, kit because you got the helmet, plus about $40 worth of duties because it came from the US. Then you also have the camera, which was another hundred-ish dollars. So you combine that all in American dollars and you get a pretty expensive little package. Yeah. Sitting here talking. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit warm, but I can turn the fans on. A little bit of cold air on me. Overall, I think I could probably manage with this, especially with the cooling fans on medium, so that they're not too dangerously loud. Of course, it's pretty high quality, durable plastic and all that, but you know. You want something that defogs itself, and you want something that can attach a camera mount to the side and have a consistent point of aim. That's not too restrictive. I mean, obviously, you can't really look down, so you got to learn to feel for stuff. Then I'd say uh, this is a pretty good option. Expensive, but yeah.